Welcome, everybody. Welcome, fellow patriots. Welcome, fellow deplorables. This is not a robbery. This is not a stick-up. This is the Conservative Commandos radio show. I'm Rick Trader, coming to you from the studios of the Conservative Commandos radio network. And joining me as my co-host is the patriot from the Battleborn State, the Silver State of Nevada. And that's my dear friend, Sharon Angle. Sharon, welcome back. To conservative commandos. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rick. <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate your mask, but I'm far enough away. I think our social distancing is 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 good enough. We're we're over almost three thousand miles away from one another, so I don't think that you need to wear it in my presence. I I'm going to be okay. <laughs> well, I I didn't think that. I just wanted to show this off. This was a gift that was sent to me by a very dear friend of ours, mutual friend Joe Messina. Aha! Uh-huh. And Joe Messina is uh, the host of the Joe Mes- uh, the Real Side with Joe Messina, and uh, he's a show that is part of the AUN Television Network. And Joe was kind enough to send this mask to me so i wanted to share it with our audience and sharon i want i'm going to encourage our listeners and viewers to go to joe's website the joe messina show joe messina show dot my dot com you can pick up your own trump 2020 mask and and the reason i'm wearing this sharon i do believe i do believe that if everyone starts wearing Trump 2020 mask, all the Democrats who run the states, run the cities, will automatically say, you don't need to wear a mask anymore, <laughs> America. So anyway, I want to thank Joe again. And by the way, you can got, get some other great products that support another conservative friend of ours, Joe Messina. You can get the... The, the Trump 2020 mask. Joe also has the book out, The Rumblings of a Right-Wing Bible-Thumping White Guy. Uh, one of Joe's coffee mugs and a shirt, Stand, uh, hashtag Stand America. So we want you to support another fellow conservative, our very good friend, Joe Messina. So check out his <laughs> website. Again, it's Joe Messina Shop. Dot myshopify.com. So Sharon, I'm going to send you one of these masks. All right. Oh, I, I, I think these. You're on to something there. If we do this, <laughs> they, they may just say, "Don't, don't wear that mask in here." <laughs> so that would be good. Well, for us. It'll, it'll certainly show. Uh, you'll find out who your friends are, won't you? <laughs> That's right. Well, I know. I know a lot of my Christian friends have been wearing masks that have. Um, John 3.16 on them, Jesus is Lord, all kinds of, of really um, encouraging messages uh, of faith. And uh, they're not uh, being encouraged to wear those either. So, you know, we, we really are getting to the heart of the matter when we wear a mask that actually says something other than uh, I'm afraid of the China virus uh, that says, no, I, I'm ready to talk to you about something that's truly important. Absolutely. So, and Absolutely. speaking of truly important things, I don't know where to start exactly because it all seems a little frivolous today. But uh, I guess the first thing uh, is all this uh, Nevada-centric stuff. I know you like to hear what the Nevada group is doing uh uh, sometimes I think I live in a crazy, crazy state. And here's one for you. The brothels in Elko and the stage door Elko Bar and Entertainment Venue will be asking the Elko City Council Tuesday for emergency relief on fees because of the financial toll <laughs> the coronavirus pandemic has taken on their businesses. The council will consider these requests and... Uh, they, they are doing it at a meeting that they can have social distancing and stuff. Oh, my have. God. Social distancing. <laughs> and still have the public to give, up. To give so, uh, financial bailouts to what, their houses of prostitution, Sharon. Yeah. They're, I, uh, 
do I but, dare but say it? The do I dare say what they are? Yeah, oh, they're 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 whorehouses. Yeah, they're legal here, and uh, in some of our counties, they're legal. Oh so, my gosh! Uh, anyway, it's Emily Anderson, one of the uh, owners. Uh, asked that the quarterly liquor license fee due on June 30th be waived. Her request is a separate agenda item from one of the brothels. Obviously, all businesses are hurting and impacted now. Additional fees to operator are hitting everyone especially hard. and We still have not been able to open our doors. We are classified as an entertainment venue, and we are still trying to work out the details of opening with the new guidelines in place regarding capacity and live theater events. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It just struck my funny bone, I guess. Uh, mm. that, that they got classified as a live theater event. The owners of the brothel. A live theater event. Louis <laughs> yeah. Goldberg of Mona's oh, yeah, 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 D&D yeah, yeah. Bar, George Tate of Sue's Fantasy Club, and Kathleen O'Nellis of Desert Rose requested relief from their brothel license fees uh, also due. And they um, they haven't paid them since December 30, 31st. They've all called me making this request, said one of the city councilmen. So, so it's it's a it's a unanimous desi- desire by these brothels in Elko. Give us some relief. We're just not able to make a living out here. <laughs> they need to go back to school. <laughs> 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 they really do get you know, a job I mean, get a real job <laughs> one that doesn't uh, involve laying on your back giving sexual pleasure to whoever I mean get a real job well Rick you know uh, these kinds of these kinds of things require adjustments right I, and, yeah and so, some of them are vocational adjustments. Adjust- you oh get a crisis. Gosh. You get a crisis, and when you have the crisis, the crisis sometimes requires adjustments. I know other business owners are making those adjustments. Restaurateurs are learning how to do um, a, a call-in or or a drive-through drive-through businesses. Um, we every business that I know this crisis has caused them to make an adjustment and you know there's an adjustment that needs to be made here by these brothel owners in Nevada as well. Uh, <laughs> and, I'm and, speechless. You're I'm speechless. speechless after that. <laughs> well then I'll move I'll move along to this next thing. <laughs> <laughs> And I know I'm you just love to talk you know, to me geez. about things. Um, this one is is uh, of national concern, I guess. Uh, but you know, one of my favorite guests on our show is Dr. Gerard Lamero, and in uh, January of 2019, he yep. predicted that the players, the major players in the 2020 election, would be mm-hmm. Donald Trump, Michelle Obama for the Democrats, and Mitt Romney. Mm. And so I'm always curious when I see Mitt Romney coming to the forefront. He is a senator from Utah, but he was, um, it, it's just interesting. He, he got his name in twice. And, and uh, the two incidents were, first, he's not going to vote for President Trump. He said, not going to do it. He and Colin Powell and George W. Bush, they say, they say nope, not going to do it. Um, and I, I want both so my who votes are they going to vote for? I want for both our... my votes back for Romney and for Bush. Well, I want but, my votes back. So do you do you vote for Biden then, or do you stay home? I mean, what does that mean, guys? You know, you're you're not going to have fifty choices. You're going to have a couple, and we uh, we're not sure uh, exactly on the Democrat side who that other one's going to be, but. We're pretty sure that Trump's going to be our candidate on the on the right side. So, you know, that was one, number one. And then, this was an interesting one. He, Mitt Romney, decided to join the Black Lives Matter protests and walk the streets of Washington, D.C. in protest. The kicker is, though, they don't know when he actually joined 
the protest, and they don't know when he left the protest. They just know he was there because he got a photo op. So, here we go. <laughs> It's a, interesting. It's, you know, it's 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 politics at its best. Get your photo up, up get in, get out. Don't waste your time uh, doing much about anything. Just make sure that they know you were there and that you um, support their cause. So there you have it. Uh, politics as usual from Mitt Romney. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know if you want me to get into Michelle Obama before well, the break, let's, but <laughs> let's let's hold that till after save that the break. one. Huh? Okay. Well, anyway, but, uh, it looks like the players are are getting together, just like Gerard Lamero said they would. Absolutely. And by the way, he made that prediction on this show, the Conservative Commandos right. Radio Show, and that's what you're listening to and watching. I'm Rick Trader. My co-host is Sharon Engel. And today's show, like all our shows, is being brought to you by the First Amendment and protected by the Second. Sharon and I will be right back after this. We'll tell you who our guests are for today and the topics for our conversations. Be right back. Mom, thank God you're going to be okay. I'm so relieved. But you both should know when my time comes, I have a final expense policy with Senior Care USA. Is Senior Care USA the life insurance policy that helps loved ones pay for funeral expenses and other debts? Bill and I called to get more information. Yes, and there's an immediate payout of up to $50,000. If you're over 50, call Senior Care USA now to learn more about final expense insurance plans. There's no medical exam, even if you have a pre-existing condition like I do. But when I called, the quote was free, and there was no pressure. I found out that policies start for as little as 35 cents a day. Rates will never increase and coverage won't decrease. I'm going to call today. Ask about the free prescription discount card. Oh, I'm so glad you'll be taken care of. Call 1-800-822-7419. That's 1-800-822-7419. But is it? It's really just the beginning, right? Have you written a book and want it published but don't know where to start? You're not alone. Page Publishing cuts through the confusion that most new authors face, like copyright protection, barcodes, printing, and digital uploading. We will get your book into bookstores now. We guide you through the publishing maze and help you distribute and sell your work in hard copy and ebook formats. That's right. We will digitize and place your book for sale on Amazon, Apple iBooks, and Google, offering it to millions. Don't waste another minute. Most publishers won't even look at new author submissions, but we're different. We review your book and provide you feedback in about a week. If we decide to publish your book, your work ends and ours begins. From copy editing and proofing to typesetting and book cover art, our team gets you into bookstores fast. Call 1-877-461-5033. Does your current bathroom need to be updated immediately? Introducing One Day Bath and Shower Remodeling. The complete and hassle-free way to get the new bathroom of your dreams in as little as one day. And for as little as $1.99 a month. Yes, the experts at One Day Bath and Shower Remodeling will come to you anywhere in the country and show you all the customized options. Now you can have a brand new bathroom in as little as one day. Large or small bathrooms, if you want a new bathtub or shower installed, we can do it in as little as one day. And if you call right now, you can save $750 off your remodel. We make it easy by offering you financing as low as $199 per month. So for as little as $199 a month, you can finally have the bathroom of your dreams. Call now to schedule your free in-home consultation. And welcome back to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with Sharon Angle and yours truly, Rick Trader. And the hallmark of our show being our great guest, Sharon, we have three great guests joining us once again for today's show. We do. We do. Our first guest is Jennifer Bukowski, who hosts the Jennifer Bukowski Show. And that airs on 7 
broadcast TV stations in California on the AUN TV network and also on radio throughout mid Missouri on 93.9, The Eagle. Jennifer is an award winning trial and appellate attorney with extensive experience in criminal defense as a criminal defense attorney and as a constitutional law attorney, and she has been a weekly guest on many, many shows. She's also handled over 1,400 criminal cases on behalf of clients charged with offenses ranging from municipal misdemeanor violations to first-degree murder charges. We've asked Jennifer to come on and talk to us uh, from a criminal attorney point of view. What's Mm -hmm. going on with the George Floyd case and those uh, uh, officers that uh, have been involved in his uh, death? So we then have a real fun uh, interview with a longtime friend, Burgess Owens, who is a leading running, he's leading the running for Congress in Utah's 4th District. He has a great chance of winning this seat. He's a 10-year veteran of the National Football League. So if you remember Burgess Owens' name, it's probably because you remember he was on a Super Bowl champion Oakland Raiders team. He's also an entrepreneur, media personality, conservative speaker, and the author of three books, including Why I Stand, From Freedom to the Killing Fields of Socialism. And we're going to talk to him about the issues that are confronting us today. He'll have, a, am sure, a good uh, perspective on those things. Our final guest is Kelly Nelson, and she is, has been researching the Christian right and their connections to the left, the New Age and cult, since 1975. And formerly, she was an executive producer of three different national radio talks show host, and she was adept at finding and scheduling a variety of wonderful guests for her radio hosts. She and her husband live in Knoxville, Tennessee, and she owns a wholesale commercial bakery and has since 1990 there in Tennessee. But she was actually born in Chicago, so she's very familiar with Chicago politics. We have asked her to come on and discuss an article that she wrote about Antifa and or Antifa, however you want to uh, pronounce that, mm-hmm. and their uh, revolutionary connections to communism. So we've got a good lineup. Good Indeed lineup. we do. Indeed we do. Indeed we I, do. Um, I wanted to just mention Michelle Obama. Of course, we mentioned Gerard Lamero and his predictions in 2019 about the cast of of characters on the 2020 uh, presidential election ballot. He also predicted the demise of the Democrat Party over this election, that if they don't win it, we will see something else, but we won't see the Democrat Party because they've gone so far to the left into socialism, and this will be a pushback in this election against socialism. Uh, not specifically for or against some candidates in some cases, but just because people don't want a socialist nation. They they understand what socialism is. But Michelle Obama has been going around and speaking to graduates. So here she is now. She's starting to campaign. And she's telling these graduates that they need to get out and vote. Well, I guess... That means you need to get out and vote for her, huh? She didn't say that exactly, <laughs> but she's telling them, get registered to vote and go out and vote. Uh, but one thing that was the most troubling is she said, don't ever, ever let anyone tell you you're too angry. Wow. Uh, I just, uh, that gave me a uh, cause to stop and consider what she's doing. Um and she's then, inciting a riot is what she's doing, Sharon. Well, it seems it seems like that because she then highlighted how systematic racism and inequality were exposed and oh, linked by the events simultaneously inequality. taking hold <sighs> of our nation with the China virus and the demonstrations over the death of George Floyd. So 
in that whole sentence of don't ever let anyone tell you you're too angry she then went on to say you should be angry about these things and you should let people know about it oh yeah go riot in the streets well sharon our governor phil murphy all right california east governor phil murphy has like a lot of governors put the state under lockdown i mean we can't go to school we can't go to church oh you can go to the casino that's okay but um you know we're supposed to anti-social distance i don't know how in the world you can call it social distancing it's actually anti-social distance distancing and he's ticketed people and fine people for congregating all right but phil murphy phil murphy broke his own laws he broke his own laws over the weekend saying he was marching for justice new jersey governor phil murphy for the first time attended a rally in a vigil while over the weekend as part of the worldwide anti-police break brutality demonstrations okay here's a lawmaker here's this guy that says you can't go to school you can't go to church uh, you can't be in groups of no more than 10. He goes to a rally. And this is what these liberals do, Sharon. They set themselves apart. All the laws that they make, well, they're for everybody else. They're not for Phil Murphy. All right? People need to wake up. You know, our freedoms. It was Ronald Reagan who said that we're never more than one generation away from losing our freedoms while we are one election away from losing our freedoms. We got guys like Phil Murphy who says you can't go to church, you can go to school, but I can do whatever I want to. He was very proud of it, Sharon. Well, and I think that's that we're seeing the anger uh, from the heartland uh, over the inconsistency and the yep. arbitrary nature of these unlegislated rules. They are not laws, Rick. I've not seen one legislature pass a law during this whole thing. These have all been emergency orders by Democrats, and that's what makes them so arbitrary and inconsistent is because they changed their minds. Yeah, uh, you know, don't wear a mask, do wear a mask, don't, um, no problem with crowds, now there's a problem with crowds, nope, not a problem with crowds if you're in a protest, somehow they're immune to uh, the oh, virus, I guess. Oh, if it's a I protest guess. that's on their side. <laughs> yeah, then they're immune. Huh? Yeah, then they're immune, all right, no problem there, no problem with there. I Our, would love to see somebody, Sharon Angle, uh, go to court. And have Phil Murphy arrested and ticketed for violating his own orders. Of course, he's worth $60 billion. A $60 <laughs> ticket won't hurt him, but I think somebody should. Sharon, we've got to go to a break and get our first guest on. You're listening to and watching the Conservative Commandos radio show with Sharon Angle and yours truly, Rick Trader. Don't forget, go to Joe Messina's site. Get your face mask. Trump 2020. We'll be right back with our first guest, Jennifer Bukowski, right after this break. Attention homeowners. Do you have a house that's in need of serious repairs? Do you have tenants that never seem to make their monthly payments? How about code violations, past due taxes, or maintenance costs you just can't afford? Then call my friends right now with Quick Cash Offer. They specialize in buying any home, no matter how ugly the situation. Turn that problem property into cash right now. It's just that simple. One call and you can get rid of that home headache forever. They buy the ugliest houses with instant closings, instant cash, and huge savings. Plus, there are no realtor fees, no listing fees, and no repair costs. Just cash in your hands for that painful property. They're buying a few more houses in your neighborhood this month. So take advantage of this cash offer and call Quick Cash Offer now. 855-296-8854. 855-296-8854. That's 855-296-8854. 
Listen carefully. If your student loan debt is overwhelming you and things seem hopeless, we've got great news. If you're still struggling with your student loan debt, there are government programs available that may actually lower your payments by consolidating your federal student loans. Just call us. We'll review your situation and work with you to consolidate your debt. In many cases, depending on your situation, we can lower your monthly payments in half or more. It doesn't matter how much you owe or how far behind you are. Even if you're in default, call us right now to find out how we can lower your payment in half immediately. You can stop the harassing phone calls and the wage garnishments. All you need to do is pick up the phone and call us right now. We can remove your default status, consolidate your federal student loans, lower your payments, and we can do it today. Stop worrying. This is a real solution that can help. So please call us right now. Call 800-917-8671. Are you over the age of 50? One peace of mind in financial security for your family? Here's an important message to you and all seniors from the Final Expense Insurance Hotline. The average funeral costs about $7,000, even more. And the most government benefits will pay your family is only $255. That leaves your loved ones with a burden of paying your debts and funeral costs. Our plans start as low as a dollar per day and will pay up to $30,000 for your funeral and other final expenses. There's no medical exam and you'll have lifetime coverage. Plus, your rates will never increase and your plan cannot be canceled regardless of your medical condition as long as you make your premium payments. Get free information right now. Just answer a few simple questions and get approved right over the phone in just a few minutes. Call right now. Call 855-221-7334. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? How do you get in front of companies or get a patent? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors just like you for 35 years. And thousands of people contact them every month. With 65 offices, you can meet with an InventHelp representative near you who will keep your idea confidential and explain their invention process step by step. InventHelp has helped over 10,000 inventors get patents. And they offer 3D animations and prototyping services to help demonstrate your idea. InventHelp's exclusive data bank includes over 9,000 companies who have agreed to confidentially review new ideas like yours. Don't wonder what to do next. Take action right now and get the help you need from InventHelp. InventHelp. Call today for free information. 800-880-2937. That's 800-880-2937 now. And once again, we want to welcome you back. This is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with Sharon Angle and yours truly, Rick Trader. And for a rebroadcast of our show, please check out our website, ccrshow.com. That's ccrshow.com. Be sure to like us, friend us, and follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. And with that, Sharon, we do have our first guest of the day with us. And the honor of that introduction is all yours. Well, and it is an honor and a privilege to introduce Jennifer Bukowski, who hosts the Jennifer Bukowski Show that airs on seven broadcast TV stations in California through AUN-TV and on radio throughout mid-Missouri on 93.9 The Eagle. Jennifer is an award-winning trial and appellate attorney with extensive experience as criminal defense attorney and as a constitutional law attorney. She has been a weekly guest on the Gary Nolan Show and has made countless appearances on other radio and TV shows, including Fox News, Newsmax, and more. Jennifer has handled over 1,400 criminal cases on behalf of clients charged with offenses ranging from municipal misdemeanor violations to first-degree murder charges. She is also an active member of the Republican National Lawyers Association and was a Trump delegate at the RNC in Cleveland in 2016. Jennifer, welcome to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. It's a delight to be here. Thank you, Sharon. Well, 
We want to call upon your expertise as a criminal attorney. I listened, and I, I'm going to recommend that to our listeners, that they go and, uh, first of all, watch your show, but they might want to go into the archives and listen to a uh, audio blog that you did concerning George Floyd and, and um, the uh, officers uh, that have been charged with uh second degree and third degree murder and uh, you know I'm not an attorney myself so I don't understand those charges they've also gone ahead and and arrested other officers that were at the scene that day and now I I just have to ask you Jennifer my my understanding of the Constitution my understanding of criminal law is that you're innocent until proven guilty and that we don't rush to judgment and in fact if we do we often make some big mistakes and yet it seems like that the video they've got the video he's guilty that's it protesters are out it's it's really kind of startling and stunning to see how quickly the uh, nation has all said, nope, there's no, there's no way that this guy is going to get off. And yet, you say, not so fast. So talk to us a little bit about what happened, um, how, how you see it as a criminal defense attorney, and those charges that have been brought against this officer. Sharon, I couldn't agree with you more. We are supposed to have the presumption of innocence, and it's really the Constitution and being a criminal defense attorney is defending the individual from the mob, from the majority that's mad at them, that acts so often just based on limited facts. In this case, we do have more facts than we normally do on a particular crime because there's a lengthy video showing of what happened with the police officer, Derek Chauvin, and his, uh, you know, pressing down on George Floyd's neck. But the mob demanded that the officers that were present at the scene also be arrested and charged with murder. I think that it's going to be difficult to get a criminal conviction on the other three officers because presence at the scene alone is not enough to be guilty of a crime in America. It might make you not good at your job. That's why they got fired. You know, it might make you a not moral person to stand by and watch something bad happen and do nothing about it. But there's a jury instruction that I've offered in cases many times before when I've gone to jury trial. Presence alone at the scene is not enough. I've handled these cases where it's felony murder with accomplices that are charged. And the other big hang up that the other three police officers will have is uh, you have to intentionally be an accomplice to a crime. You have to intentionally do something to aid, assist, uh, occur, or encourage in the participation of a crime, a felony crime, in order to be guilty of felony murder. Well, they've got him, these three officers charged alternatively as aiding or assisting in this assault in the third degree, which apparently is a felony in Minnesota. They could argue, I was doing my job. You know, I was trained to be there. I was securing the scene. I'm supposed to be posted. They're going to have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that they had the intent to aid the other officer, they had the object for that assault to occur. So there's a defense available to the other three officers for that. Then all four officers are going to have a defense available to them, which is cause of death. And the cause of death here is not, uh, it's not very well known, but there's no like oversight of ME's offices in our country. There's no uniformity to it. We've already gotten a couple of different opinions as to the cause of death for George Floyd, which a criminal defense attorney with worth his or her salt, uh, they will get a forensic pathologist to weigh in and say, look, there could be natural causes of this death. He's saying, I can't breathe. He's already indicating that he can't be put in the back of the police car. That's why he was on the ground initially. He's having some sort of health emergency. That's what killed him. The prosecution is not proving beyond a reasonable doubt that it was a suffocation here when you have uh, the presence of drugs in a system, fentanyl and methamphetamine, any amount, especially with a compromised heart, can be enough to have a fatal overdose of those drugs. It depends on the tolerance and things, but we know that he had arterial sclerotic heart disease and another heart disease, I'm blanking on it off the top of my head, 
both of which indicate a compromised heart. So if you have those types of drugs that can cause a heart attack or, you know, it can be an issue. At the trial, did they cause the death? Now, I think as a practical matter, a jury's going to watch that video, 8 minutes and 43 seconds, they're going to convict Eric Chauvin. But the other three officers, between the intent being a problem and the cause of death being an issue, I could see them walking on those charges. And then what's the reaction from the public that's so, um, so tuned into this case going to be? Wow. Well, thank you for kind of running through it. I know that now we're wanting to dig a little deeper into what you said. Um, first of all, I want to know what is, I know what first degree m murder is, I think. I, I was on a first degree um, a murder trial once as a juror, and we were instructed that uh, first degree murder carries with it the death penalty. But then uh, he's not charged with first degree murder. He's charged with second and third. What are second and third degree murder? Great question, Sharon. So he's charged with second degree murder and not a conventional second degree murder. First degree murder is you act with premeditation for any amount of time, no matter how brief. Cool deliberation. That's what's required for first degree murder. You're coolly reflecting. You intend to kill the person. Second degree murder can be, there's two types. There's conventional, which is like you knowingly kill someone on purpose but you don't coolly deliberate about it, so it's not a first degree, or the way that it's charged for these four officers as a felony murder. That means that you commit a felony, and in the commission or immediate flight therefrom, uh, someone is dead as a result. So that's the felony murder that they're charged with. They're actually, interestingly enough, Derek Chauvin is charged uh, in the alternative with third degree murder, which is not a statute we have in Missouri, but it's pretty applicable here, I think, um, for the that you're like with complete disregard for your riskiness of your conduct. You're doing something that results in the death. So it's like a very, it's really a very heightened manslaughter, which is what I have here in my state and what we deal with. It's like complete disregard for the um, caring of de ev evincing depraved mind. Um, you didn't intentionally kill him, but you did something eminently dangerous with a depraved mind. So that's what he was originally charged with. Now he's charged with that and the alternative. And then the jury can also consider, if they submit all of these, is a second-degree manslaughter, which is culpable negligence creating unreasonable risk. So that he had negligence creating an unreasonable risk and con consciously took the chances of causing death or great bodily harm to another, George Floyd. Now, the other issue I see, now this might be too technical and boring for people, but the other three officers are also charged with aiding and abetting in a culpable negligence, like in that count of that second degree manslaughter, which a first year law student taking their final law, final exam in criminal law would tell you, you can't be an accomplice to a negligent act. It needs to be, you need to intentionally be an accomplice. So I've never seen a charge, um, a charge like that before where you're charging someone as an accomplice to negligence because that we get back again to presence at the scene is not enough. Well, after listening to all of this and after watching what's going on in Minneapolis where they're saying they're going to dismantle their police department, how much of this is really law and how much of this is just pushback mm -hmm. against a crime? How much of it's just, we want this guy to suffer and we want him to suffer as much as we can make him suffer, so we're going to think up all these charges and not only him but anybody that was there we want them all to be punished what what's going on do you really think you know based on what the atmosphere is i think the atmosphere is why you see the additional charges i think that it was a good sign that they fired the police officers right away i mean usually they drag their feet in firing police officers even in cases where there's video that shocks the conscience of everyone, you know, which certainly this video did. They fired all four of them. So I thought that was a good sign. I knew that criminal charges would come out against the officers, but look, there's going to be body cam videos from four different people, patrol car cameras, like there's going to be convenience store, like a security camera footage, plus bystander footage, obviously, to comb through witness interviews to watch or read in making the right charges. So I think it... Didn't, they didn't drag their feet in filing the initial charge. 
but the politicization of this incident, this tragedy, has resulted in four officers being charged and heightened charges being brought against all four of them. For wow. sure. And you see other cases where, you know, you have political pressure or whatever. Prosecutors want to get the, you know, high profile thing. It can blow back in their faces. Do you remember the Casey Anthony case? Absolutely. That's another one where they had a big, uh, bigger in that case, cause of death problem. But they charged first degree murder without even knowing the cause of death for the little girl. And that was an overreach. And that blew back in the prosecutor's faces and resulted in a full acquittal and the defendant walking. So you point out some really good reasons why we need to be very careful when we're bringing charges, why we need to be very careful if we want justice to be served, and we have to go to a break. We've been talking with Jennifer Bukowski uh, about her expertise as a criminal attorney and what's going on with the George Floyd case that might uh, cause people to be very disappointed in outcomes. Uh, we are coming to you from the Conservative Commandos Radio Network studios and around the world on the internet with TalkStream Live, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, that Talk America, and AMFM 24 7. We can also be seen on the AUN TV network in Northern California. I'm Sharon Angle. I'm here with my co host, Rick Trader, and we've been talking with uh, Jennifer Bukowski about. George Floyd and the officers that are uh, accused of killing him. Are you a veteran and are you a homeowner? Then think Streamline and maybe save yourself a few hundred dollars every month on your mortgage. A VA Streamline refinance. It's called a rate reduction loan because mortgage interest reduction is exactly what it does. It's just for veterans and it lowers your mortgage rate so you can save on mortgage payments every month, every year. That's a lot of money saved and it's so easy to qualify. You don't need pay stubs a W-2, or bank statements. You don't need a home appraisal. It's fast and easy to apply. And mortgage interest rates are very low right now. So a VA Streamline Refinance makes it super easy and super affordable to take advantage of this opportunity and really cut your monthly mortgage payments. Veteran and homeowner? Call us to find out more. 888-893-7491. 888-893-7491. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? How do you get in front of companies or get a patent? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors just like you for 35 years. And thousands of people contact them every month. With 65 offices, you can meet with an InventHelp representative near you who will keep your idea confidential and explain their invention process step by step. InventHelp has helped over 10,000 inventors get patents and they offer 3D animations and prototyping services to help demonstrate your idea. InventHelp's exclusive data bank includes over 9,000 companies who have agreed to confidentially review new ideas like yours. Don't wonder what to do next. Take action right now and get the help you need from InventHelp. InventHelp, call today for free information. 800-880-2937. That's 800-880-2937 now. Is your credit card debt driving you batty? <laughs> We're going up! Just like your credit card fees and interest rates. <laughs> to the top! With those sky-high payments! You can't forget about your debt! <laughs> Always fear! The debt suckers are here! <laughs> Are your payments sucking the life out of you? Just one call to Consolidated Credit can get the debt suckers off your back. Consolidated Credit will lower your interest rates, consolidate your bills into one easy payment, and get you out of debt fast. Call Consolidated Credit and get your life back. Call 1-800-201-8213. 1-800-201-8213. That's 1-800-201-8213. 1-800-201-8213. When debt is the problem, consolidated credit is the solution. Because debt sucks! 
Attention Viagra and Cialis users. Are prescription drugstore prices too costly? Get 50 generic pills for only $99. That's right, 50 100 milligram generic Viagra for only $99. Our products have the same active ingredients as the brand name products. Money back guaranteed if you're 100% not satisfied. Get 50 generic pills for only $99. Order now and call the number on your screen. Have your credit card ready. And once again, we want to welcome you back to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with Sharon Engel and yours truly, Rick Trader. And I want to give a shout out to the folks who are listening to us on radio stations in Jacksonville, Tampa, and the Villages, Florida. Las Vegas and Reno, Macon, Georgia, Lancaster and Pittsburgh, Boulder and Colorado Springs, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Long Beach, California, Arlington, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and also seen on the AUN television network in San Francisco, Sacramento, San Jose, all the way up to Reading. We're very pleased to have Jennifer Bukowski with us. Jennifer is the host of the Jennifer Bukowski Show, which is seen on the AUN Television Network and also on 93.7 The Eagle in mid-Missouri. Jennifer, welcome back to the Conservative Commandos. Thanks, Rick. Great to be here. Well, Jennifer, this we've seen this before. We've seen this rush to judgment before in Ferguson, in Baltimore. We've seen it with Trevon Martin. It's on and on and on. And we haven't seen that I know of any convictions of police officers in these matters. It seems like everybody is fixated, as they should, on this 8 minute and 38 seconds video. But Jennifer, we don't know what happened before that video. We don't know the actions uh, of George Floyd. We don't know the actions of the police. Before that, all we've seen is the video. So I think, and I'm asking you as a question, what do you think might be before that video that when this goes to trial, the defense attorneys are going to potentially use to defend these police officers? Well, certainly I would look at what the police officers knew about George Floyd. I hate to speak ill of the dead, but that's going to be informing their minds as to the amount of risk that they're taking. Anytime you're trying to assert any sort of um, privilege of self-defense, defense of others, those sorts of things, probably um, resisting arrest too, you're going to take into consideration the size of the people involved, um, what the reputation that was known by the defendant of the other person. So the police are going to be pulling up his name and seeing that he has a history. And they're going to be seeing that he's a six foot seven, 250 pound individual. And so that's something that you would point out to try to go to say that uh, it's reasonable. I'm not saying it's reasonable, just to be clear, but that's what a criminal defense attorney is going to say that they are restraining him, that he's indicating he won't get into the back of the car, that indicates that he might be resisting but really the video is so long I've seen so many cases where there's a video and people are like oh there's a video it's open and shut no it's like far away there's no audio this one is pretty clear and uh, you can get the audio and it's pretty long and he dies there on the camera so that's going to be problematic for the criminal defense attorney but certainly there, there will be things to work with I've seen cases Actually, I was a special uh, prosecutor on a case of a police officer, and they call in a use of force expert, and they go through all the different like restraint techniques and everything else, and uh, basically try to justify any action that the police officers use during an arrest. And so that's something that the defense attorneys will be trying to argue too, that this was not like an improper technique, that he was trained to use this technique. I haven't like researched to analyze whether it wasn't technically a chokehold. There's another kind of hold that they are allowed to use if someone is resisting, which it doesn't seem to me that he's actively resisting throughout that lengthy time that the, you know, the pressures are being applied to that neck. So, mm -hmm. also within that autopsy report, we see that there's uh, no injuries to the neck or throat area found by the medical examiner that would be present if it was. Certainly, if it was a throttling, if it was a, you know, suffocation in that manner, that's what they checked the neck for, and they didn't find those injuries. Jennifer, 
I don't think this police officer, guilty or innocent, I don't think he can get a fair trial. I mean, there's been so much publicity on this. Uh, I'm not an attorney. I don't even play one on television. You're an attorney. I would think one of the first things a, a defense attorney would want would be a change of venue. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, you're going to need to change a venue in this case. And I think... I wonder if it was appropriate for the prosecutor's office, the Hennepin County prosecutor, to stay on this case instead of get a special prosecutor. That's an issue I brought up in Missouri. I'm in Missouri where Ferguson occurred, and I thought it was a complete disservice that the prosecutor didn't recuse himself because then even if you have a grand jury, people are always going to wonder, did they call all the witnesses? Did they ask all the right questions to have a the grand jury know everything to make an informed decision? If you remove the prosecutor that works every day with the police as part of their job from the equation, then there's not that um, there's not that appearance of impropriety. What about bail for this defendant? Uh, what do we know about bail? Is uh, is he eligible for bail in lockup? He is he under protection? And let's talk for a minute and wrapping up about the police union, the defense the police union is going to use to defend these officers. Um, he is eligible for bail. It's set at $1 million for him. It's 750000 for the other three officers. I'm unaware of if it's been posted. The police union head is kind of controversial in Minneapolis and has a length that he was involved with three shootings at 20 internal affairs complaints all but three he wasn't disciplined for but uh, they've already, he's already written this had, letter had, this officer has had all these charges in the past how many uh, well the police union had has had 20 this guy's had 17 prior to this and so police 17. officer unions are an issue that we need to start talking about on the it's like the left is burdened by the teacher unions the right they need to wake up about the police unions because again and again you see these officers that they get their jobs wow. back like the parkland shooter he just got his job back in a six-figure settlement he makes hundred and thirty seven thousand dollars a year he gets all his full seniority back he didn't even radio for help for 10 minutes as 37 people were shot in that school shooting and 17 died well i could see you mentioned these officers have been uh, been fired from the job i think if they're found uh, not guilty of these charges. I think we're going to have more lawsuits. They're going to be suing the city, wanting their jobs back, and also uh, pass pay. I think that's, yeah, they uh, will. The police union head has already indicated that they've gotten lawyers and so they get free lawyers. That's the thing. They get these free lawyers to litigate every time any officer is terminated for any reason. Jennifer Hello. Bukowski, we want to thank you so much for joining us here on the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. Jennifer, give us the uh, the the 411 here, the information. How can they follow what you are, are up to? I'm on Twitter at Esquire on Fire, ESQ on Fire, and my website's Jennifer Bukowski with a Y dot com. And to uh, watch and listen to your show. Yes, please do. Appreciate well, it. Oh, on AUN TV <laughs> and 93.9 The Eagle, AUN TV, and then it's live streamed on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. All right. Very good. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us. Take care and God bless. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Sharon. Bye. And you are listening to the Conservative Commandos radio show with Sharon Engel and your truly Rick Trader. On the other side, we're going to have a good friend of ours, Burgess Owens, join us. Burgess is the leading Republican candidate for Congress in Utah's 4th Congressional District. Don't go away. We will be right back. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. 
Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The secret war is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. And once again, we want to welcome you back to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. We share an angle in yours truly, Rick Trader. And for a rebroadcast of our show, check out our website, ccrshow.com. That's ccrshow.com. You'll find rebroadcast of our TV show as well as our radio show there. And Sharon, we have an old friend with us, an old former co-host, not old in age, but from a while back, a former co-host here on the Conservative Commandos. And Sharon, the honor of that introduction is all yours. It is an honor for me to introduce our longtime friend, Burgess Owens, who is a leading Republican running for Congress in Utah's 4th District. Owen Burgess I mean, Burgess Owen is a 10-year veteran of the National Football League, and you may remember him as a Super Bowl champion with the Oakland Raiders. But he's more than that. He's an entrepreneur, a media personality, and a conservative speaker and author of three books, including Why I Stand, From Freedom to the Killing Fields of Socialism. With all of this, his most proud moment was when he was the co-host for Conservative Commandos Radio Show, right, <laughs> right Burgess? A- absolutely. You nailed it, Sharon. Thanks so much. <laughs> Welcome well, back to the Conservative <laughs> Commandos Radio Show. This, this, this is a real treat. It really is. Uh, and, and Rick, uh, thanks so much again for this opportunity, buddy. Sharon, good talk with you again. Uh, these are very different times, and I look forward to chatting yep. with you guys through this. And whenever we can do this again, count me in. Just let me know. I just look forward to this, okay? Well, we look forward to um, giving our audience a little better insight into <laughs> you. Um, hopefully, after they've listened to you for a while, they'll say, you know what, I've got to send that Burgess so and some money for his campaign there in Utah. Uh, you know, I, I there's a phenomena in Utah that I even being a neighbor here in Nevada, I've always considered Utah very conservative, red state, yeah. no yeah. problems there. And then I run right up against Mitt Romney's politics, and I'm going, what? Yeah. What is that? What is that, Burgess? <laughs> what is that? Well, well, you know, again, uh, 
what I what I love about this part of the country, and I talk about my upbringing all the time. I grew up in a in a, in a segregated community, deep South Tallahassee, in the '60s. It was a remarkable middle class uh, family with a remarkable middle class community. I'm just communicating with my my cousin out in, in Texas who grew up in the Third Ward, which is right now talked about quite a bit. He grew up in the Third Ward in, in a remarkable middle class family, middle class community, and one of the best high schools there, uh, seriously, in the entire state. It was a different time. Because it was a time where our, our family could really focus on those things that make our country work. They focus on education, on faith, on industry, and the family unit. And we, we thrived through that time. And so I'm proud to be part of a community that still believes in that. And I think this community, because of, of what we believe in, will truly be the linchpin to bring our country back. I'm, I'm, I'm running for Congress in the 4th District. By the way, it's Burgess for Utah.com. And uh, we are between number one and number three in terms of must-have by both parties. The Democrats must have it to keep their power. We must get it back to keep our country. So mm -hmm. the values I have here will literally let, let our country go back to winning our house. Once we win the house, with a different, um, it's going to be a different place altogether. Not the old establishment uh, uh, elitist that we've seen in the past that we've gotten so frustrated with. These will replicate what our president stands for. American loving conservatives that do the right thing. So I look. I hope. I hope that uh, America across the country pay attention to your district. Let's get eighteen to nineteen to twenty of us back in and in, in to win the house. And I tell you, the next four years could be a remarkable process to go through. So I, I look forward to that opportunity. Well, I think you really spoke to my question when you said establishment. Uh, problems in Washington, D.C., and I, I see Romney as one of those establishment problems. He has said, I'm not going to vote for President Trump this time coming. Um, who does he vote for if he doesn't vote for Trump? I, well, you know, I don't Sharon, understand that. Sharon, can I, can I say this? Uh, the, the problem with, that happened to my community, that and, and Rick, you have heard this over and over again, that during these, this time, the 50s and 60s, we led the country in the growth of the middle class. Men matriculated from college. Men committed to marriage over 70 percent, and the percentage of entrepreneurs over 40 uh, percent. <clears throat> what happened to us is that we got into our community elitists. We got people who were uh, more focused on their, on their wealth, their, their, their fame, and their acceptance to, quote, the power base it was about our, our, our community. And they turned their back on us. They could care less about our success, about the community that they came from. They cared more about their success. And elitism, by the way, is colorblind. And it's also uh, bipartisan. It goes in both parties. And anyone who could stand by as our president just made, made happen for the black community, the best in the history of our nation, the lowest unemployment for blacks, Hispanics, uh, uh, Asians, uh, veterans, women, uh, teens, the highest growth of business, black business ownership within two years of 400%. Anybody who could turn their back on that kind of success is turning their back on the black community. And that's what we need to really talk about because the only thing that the left has is emotion. They have emotions which they turn very negative. They take advantage of every opportunity they can to take the misery of my people, my, my race, our country, period, across the board, and they try to turn that into votes. Everything they do is about getting out the votes. So, uh, I'm very disappointed in anyone who calls themselves a Republican who could say they will vote for a Democrat like Joe Biden with, with the history he has and the, the, and the death and, and, and misery they brought to, to my, my community. Uh, then we really, what we're seeing, guys, is seeing the real colors, the real colors of those who say, quote, they used to, they are Republican. Anybody can say they're Republican like anybody can say I'm a, I'm a moth, I'm a caterpillar. At the end of the day, we're not. And, uh, and, and we're show, they're showing themselves at this, this point and what they're doing now. Well, I, I hope that we pointed out the real issue here is electing conservatives. Yes. And you're a conservative, and even though you come from what we say is a conservative state, it's still really, really important that Utahns look for conservatives because we can get those Republicans in that are not. That, as you said, that elitism that's caused the establishment to be above the people and to not see the, the suffering, really, of this lockdown and, and now these protests, they're, they're really not seeing it. Uh, we had a guest on yesterday that said we have to get, let normal people get back in control because yeah, yeah. We're, we're a divided country when we allow this, uh, uh, this group that just really doesn't have a clue. And that brings us to your book. Uh, they, uh, why I Stand, From Freedom to the Killing Fields, 
of socialism. I think that uh, voters in Utah especially should get this book, but I think our our audience should get this book so that they know why they should contribute to your campaign. Tell us about the book, why you wrote okay. the book, what's in it, what what the difference is uh, between socialism and what we saw in this lockdown, or is there any difference? Well, and here's, here's the thing. Uh, one of the, Again, one of the tenets I talk about is education, uh, and what we've had uh, going at us for a long, long time. This is not new. We've had the Marxists and socialists attacking us for decades. What these people do, they're cowards and they're bullies. They never stand up front and tell you who they are. They hide behind white, ma- white hoods or black masks. They hide in a bureaucracy where nobody knows who they are, they can't get fired. They hide in colleges behind tenure so they can attack our kids and, and become little Marxist laboratories and, we, and they never know who they are so they can not get fired. Uh, what's happening today is very simply this. I'm so thankful for the ingenuity, the, 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 uh, the, the innate uh, uh, pull to freedom that Americans are. And because of that, we're going to come together out of this and really understand what was happening. Up until this point, socialism and Marxism has been totally hypothetical. You know, we, are, we understand it because we were taught that growing up. We knew what the enemy was. Our kids don't understand that today. What we've had the last few months, this has been impacting not only Republicans, but independents and Democrats who want to have a business, who want to grow and, and build their lives and, and have a future for their kids. And what they need, we need to let them know is this is the way the left works. Uh, they use, abuse, and discard anyone who trusts them, including Democrats who trust them. And when we talk about this process, I'm talking about the top, the elitists, those who understand exactly what they're doing with the policy they put in place, not those who trust the, the rhetoric. And that's why we have a chance now to finally have a common bond of conversations. Who was it that made sure you, you lost your business or you struggled or you had to you couldn't get enough money to pay your employees and all, you have, all of a sudden you start all over again? Who was it that opened up the doors to these thugs that came through and, and, and burnt and, and looted the business infrastructure in the cities where black people, Hispanic people are trying to build their future and become middle, part of the middle class? Who was it that continues now uh, to tell us that, that this allows these guys to run rampant and, and, and this message of, of divisiveness is always the same people. The same people where we find the br- br- brutality in the cities, where cities burn every four years. The same locations, the same misery is Democrats. The Democratic leadership use misery as a political tool. So this is going to be a benefit to us. We're going to be able to talk about it. And I'll, I'll say this real quickly. Who the true heroes of this nation will be, the front line, will be the small business owners. These are the people that, that feed our middle class. We're talking about a great middle class of, of hope and, and faith and, and giving and service and, and, and vision. That's the middle class. The bigger it is, the better our country, more free our country is. These people have been trying to shrink our middle class like they did when I was growing up as a kid. And so we can have a conversation about those who want to enter the middle class, those who are poor, who have, have been given these, uh, uh, these, these barriers in the past. Welcome aboard to a policies of policies that help us all come aboard. Don't worry about party, black, or Democrat or Republican. Vote your values. Vote your best interests. Forget politics mm. and politicians. Vote the people that are, that are putting in place policies that allow you to succeed. And it's always going to be not, it's going to be anti-Democrat. Always. So be independent. Be independent. And, and this country will be just fine. And the business owners, thank goodness for you, because you're out there taking the risk, bouncing back again, making your life work and realize we have a friend in our president, uh, President Trump. And together, across the board, regardless of parties, we will have the same end game, which is to move our country forward. And we'll also understand our enemy who has a different end game for us, which is destroy our culture and our American way. Absolutely. And I guess I, I'm going to say the name of your book again, Why I Stand, From Freedom to the Killing Fields of Socialism. And it's really deeper than that. We had a guest on yesterday who had written an article, The Four Communist Machines, behind the Floyd protests. There's four <laughs> communist uh, groups, not Antifa, not Black Lives Matter, but groups that are behind them that are fueling this fire from the back. Yeah. And and that is just frightening. Uh, I, I lived through Khrushchev saying, we'll bury you. Yep. And wanting <laughs> to... Uh, uh, the Bay of Pigs, you know, when uh, there was this uh, a horrible invasion of our hemisphere. Uh, we, we saw it firsthand and we said, no, no, that will never happen in America. But here it is, right on our doorstep. 
Well, and what happened is over the decades, and this is the, this is kind of the nature of, of the American people. We have, we are eternal optimists. You know, we focus on our dreams, our, our businesses, our lives, our kids, our retirement, our vacations, and and, and we forget sometimes it's evils at our door a doorstep. Evil never stops, never rests. <clears throat> These people have been weaving themselves into our, our institutions like termites for decades. So what we're seeing today should not be new. What I'm looking forward to coming out of this as we have these conversations and we begin to understand who the true enemy is. It's those who hate the Judeo-Christian values that made our country what it yeah. is, that allows us all to come together, no matter what our differences is, whether we have whether we believe in the faith or not, we're still welcomed here in this country. Those others who hate us wants to divide us. It's a it's a spirit of darkness. It's a it's a place of hatred, of division, of riots, of killing, of looting, all the above that these people want to place on people so that they will de they depend on their elitist class versus God. So this is the conversation we're going to have, and we just have the courage to say it and then have American people slow down for a quick minute and forget the emotion that they're trying to, uh, in to engender. Forget trying to be made to feel guilty because you're white. Forget trying to be made to feel uh, uh, entitled because you're black. Understand there's a, there's a spirit behind all that that has nothing to do with fairness, has nothing to do with meritocracy, has nothing to do with coming together. And that is the spirit of Marxism, socialism, communism, atheism, you name it. Anything that deletes God will get us to a point where we begin to hate each other because it draws narcissists and socialists, sociopaths to, to, that, to that, uh, that particular place. And those people will never be for anybody else but themselves. <laughs> well said, Burgess Owens. Well said. You know, we have uh, been... Uh, experiencing our First Amendment right to religion being <coughs> locked down past, uh, well, right now, the casinos are open, but not the churches. Mm. The bars are open, but not the churches here in Nevada. And it's time for Christians to stand up and, and, and do just Seriously. as you did. Why I Stand, From Freedom to the Killing Fields. You'll want to get that book by Burgess Owens, who is our guest right now on Conservative Commandos Radio Show. Uh, I'm Sharon, I'm single. Gonna, I don't think yes, he wants to go to a break. I think he I'm wants me to just turn decision. it over to him. <laughs> Sharon, you're right. I'm making an executive decision here because I do believe this is too important a conversation to take a break on. And I would rather use this time for America to get to know Burgess Owens the way I do the way you do, Sharon. And uh, let me just say, this is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with Sharon Angle and yours truly, Rick Trader. And once again, as a reminder, for rebroadcasts of our show, please check out our website, ccrshow.com. Also want to give a shout out to folks who are listening to us in Jacksonville, Tampa, and the Villages, Florida, Las Vegas, and Reno, Macon, Georgia, Lancaster, and Pittsburgh, Boulder, and Colorado Springs, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Long Beach, California. California, Arlington, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and also seen on the AUN television network in San Francisco, Sacramento, San Jose, Silicon Valley, wine country, all the way up to Reading. Our guest this segment is a very good friend of Conservative Commandos, former co-host Burgess Owens. Burgess is the leading candidate, the leading Republican candidate. He is seeking the Republican nomination to run for Congress in Utah's 4th Congressional District. Now, let me say this about Utah's 4th Congressional District. This is a very, very red seat. This is a district that's R plus 13. R plus 13, but at the present time, there's a Democrat in that seat. We've got to get rid of this Democrat. And ladies and gentlemen, I say this all the time. We conservatives must support other fellow conservatives no matter where they are. If they're in your district, great. If they're in your state, great. If they're 2,500 miles away, the way Burgess Owens is right now, we have to support them too. You know, I'm a bit of a tightwad here. <laughs> I hate to get off my wallet, but I am going to get a, get off my wallet and make a donation to BurgessForUtah.com. And Burgess, I want to wish you, to, but, by the way, 
Mary and I, my wife, were having a conversation yesterday in the car, and she says, who are you having on the show tomorrow? I says, Burgess Owens, and she got excited about that, and I says, Burgess has a real shot, a real shot of getting to Congress, and Burgess, we are holding January 3rd open. We're going to be there for your swearing in. I that's, love it. I love that's it, buddy. That's I make. <laughs> and uh, as I said, we've got to support a man like Burgess Owens. You hear him. You hear what he stands for. But now, Burgess, I want to talk about some of the issues that you're advocating in your run for Congress. I'm on your website right now, BurgessForUtah.com. Issues right at the top is Second Amendment. Yes. Give us a minute or so on your feelings I, about the second. I tell, you what, I tell you what, I had one of my most heartwarming, proud moments of my life uh, last week when I, I saw this picture of these, uh, uh, someone was video and it went viral, these black businesses, it had black owned in front, this was in, in Minneapolis, and they had these young men standing in front, and and, and, and let me tell you, what came to mind is the Passover. Because as this evil of looters came to, to steal and, and, and loot and, and burn, they passed over these businesses. Why? Because in the very front were these young men strapping on their, on, over their shoulders uh, AR-15s. These guys, mm. these guys knew they were pr not only proud of who they were, had the vision to start their own business, but willing to stand in front of making sure they protect their life, living in pursuit of happiness. I think the Second Amendment will not be another topic for another 10 years because the left showed us basically what happens when they take away your guns, and then they run like cowards when evil shows up. They leave the, the police post, post. they leave the, the, the businesses to be looted and ransacked, and they say nothing about it. They have, they have no shame, because at the end of the day, the leftist hates our middle class. They hate everything about them, and our middle class is powered by business ownership. You take away those businesses, you take away the, the, the freedom and the protection and the rights of somebody to go into work every single day, make a profit, to come home and spend it the way they want to, you take that away from us, you destroy the middle class, you get what's happened throughout our, our, my society, my community, that went from 40%, 40% business ownership when I was growing up, remarkable, which was, which was translated to 50%, 56% across the country of black Americans part of the middle class. That's gone down to now 40% in the middle class because only 3.8% of business owners. The Burgess, rest of the Burgess, owners I want to get into this conversation. This is why it's so important to ha get you in Congress. Right now, Nancy Pelosi wants to pass a bill in Congress putting restrictions on our police. She wants to take away our guns. She wants to put restrictions on police. My God, we're going to go from freedom to where we have to bar our doors and our windows, not just at night, but during the day because it's going to be Anarchy well, this, in this street if the this, Democrats get their way. This is what you call sociopaths and narcissists. You see, Nancy is absolutely fine in her little gated community with her little postcards. Uh, what you have to understand is who gets hurt most? The black community. Those where the criminals are, are, are taken from. But, but by the way, I should also mention, not only going to defund the police, they want to get rid of prisons. What happens to these people, these criminals, that, that have killed 85%, I mean, I'm sorry, 85,000 black Americans every single year? What happens to these people that, that are now re released to jail? They come right back and do their damage. No, no, this is, this is a conversation is a win for us because there's black Americans across the country to get it. They want to live in freedom and, 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 and have a lifestyle for, where they don't have to worry about their kids coming home from school. They get it. They understand that. And, they, and, and I think the left quite, because they have no vision, when there's no God, there's no vision, they don't understand wow. when they overstep their bounds. They don't realize say, that black people Say are not that speaking. again, Burgess Owens. <laughs> <laughs> Which part of it? Oh, uh, God. Yes. At the end of the day, when I talk about those tenets, head, heart, heart is faith, God. Wow. When there's no God, there's no vision. Wow. Leftists could not, cannot think past their next step because it's nothing but darkness. So they make decisions that they think will work long term, but they don't work long term because if they get, the Americans, no matter what color they are, love freedom. They want the opportunity to, to thrive and build and have a future. And they, I don't care if they're black or white. You tell them they're not going to get protection, you're going to tell them that somebody else in D.C. will take care of it, they will not vote for you. And that's the message we have to make sure we get out to those who are going to be hurt most by, by these policies of the leftists. No God, no vision. Absolutely. I love that. I love that. Burgess Owens, we got to run, but it's Burgess, it's so great to have you on. We've we got to get you back. 
Can I, can I, can I, say, one, can I, can I say one thing? Absolutely. Second? Time right. short. This, here's what I want everybody to remember. We have the opportunity this time around to elect a team of congressional conservatives across this country. I'm going to call them the SEAL team. I'm already talking with some of them. We're going to get there and do something so different than any other uh, House has done before because we're not there to be elitists. We're not there to, to be career politicians. We're there to duplicate our president. We're going to get there. We're going to take things, take care of things like uh, our budget, balancing our, our, our budget, take care of things like our health care, uh, Social Security, because we can come together and if we don't have to, to, to debate and negotiate with elitists. We can do the right things for we the people that we can literally, the next four years, come together because our most important uh, advocates, our frontline heroes, with the business owners that will come together across the board and build our country back to where it's so successful that race is not an issue, that hatred cannot become part of who we are. Because people who want to get there, who want to be part of the American dream, have a gateway to get there. That's what, that's what this next group is going to do for us. And I'm thankful to have this opportunity to really point out our true heroes. It has always been the same. Small business owners will take the risk. We know hear about them. They go out there and build their future, build their lives, and give hope to the rest of our nation. So they're going to be the highlight now. Now that we're, now we're at this position, and we're going to have many more of them coming to the forefront in the near future. And I can't wait for the next four years of renaissance for our country. Ray, to Burgess, your, your, your election, your campaign, give us the, uh, the 411 <laughs> on it's, this. It's, 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 it's Burgess for Utah. We're starting our, our primary uh, this week. This is the month, guys, that we're going to need your help. And then we get to the general. We end up having the same message, and together we'll push out Ben McAdams. Win this house, win the seat back, win the house back, give the president a, a new Congress a house and a Senate with more backbone, and our president continues his vision. I tell you guys, we'll see nothing like it as we move forward. So uh, to endorse and help everybody you can, guys, in this way. We need 18 and 19, 20 seats to get our house back. Pelosi's toast at that point. We'll never see her again, never have to hear from her again. She'll probably retire. Let's retire Nancy Pelosi by winning the House back and, and getting a future of hopefulness again across the board. And let's make one of those seats, the fourth congressional seat in Utah, Burgess Owens. My God, Burgess, it's so great to see you, buddy. I want to wish you all the best. And I am making a contribution. Sharon will tell you what a tight wad I am, all right? I, but I'm going to make a contribution to your campaign because I believe in you, my friend. I believe in your values and your issues. We need a man like Burgess Owens in Congress. Let's put him there with friends like Dr. Paul Brown, all right? Let's do this. But Burgess, again, thank you so much for joining us. Take care. God bless. And it's BurgessForUtah.com. Hey, Burgess, we got to get you on more often, especially in the next few weeks. It's a, it's a simple phone call, guys, and we'll make it happen. You know that. It's a simple, All right. simple phone call. Let me know. Sharon, good Burgess talking Owens, you. thank you so much. Okay, guys. And you are listening to and watching the Conservative Commandos radio show with Sharon Angle and yours truly, Nick, Rick Trader. On the other side, we're going to be speaking with Kelly Nelson. She's written a very interesting article. Antifa, the network of criminal revolutionaries. Don't go away. We'll be right back with our next guest. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. 
cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get DISH. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with DISH TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to DISH now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get DISH TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The secret war is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. And once again, we want to thank you for staying with us. This is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with Sharon Angle and yours truly, Rick Trader. And once again, for rebroadcast of our show, place to go is our website, ccrshow.com. That's ccrshow.com. We have rebroadcast of our TV show there, our radio show there. Also, don't forget to like us, friend us, and follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. And Sharon, we do have our next guest with us, and the honor of the introductions, all yours. And it is my pleasure to introduce Kelly Nelson, who has been a re- has been researching the Christian right and their connections to the left, and the New Age and cult since 1975. Formerly an executive producer for three different national radio show talk hosts. She was adept at finding and scheduling a variety of wonderful guests for her radio hosts. She and her husband live in Knoxville, Tennessee, and she's owned her own wholesale commercial bakery since 1990. Prior to moving to Tennessee, Kelly was marketing communications and advertising manager for a Fortune 100 company in Ohio. She was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois. She was a Goldwater girl with high school classmate Hillary Rodden Clinton in in Park Ridge, Illinois, and Kelly is well acquainted with Chicago politics and was working in downtown Chicago during the 1968 Democratic Convention riots. Kelly is presently the secretary for Rocky Top Freedom Campaign, a strong freedom and advocate group. Kelly, welcome back to the Conservative Commandos uh, radio show. Oh, thanks so much. I'll tell you, this mess that we've got going on in the country today, um, all of this is communism. And I'll tell you what Antifa is. Do you realize, you know, they say this is a domestic uh, problem? No, it's not. Antifa started in 1933 to 1938 in Nazi Germany. Mm. Antifa was actually anti-fascist. Yes, they wanted instead communism to take over Germany. So you've got a bunch that are so close. I mean, both of them are hardcore left wing. Both Nazis and both both uh, communists are they want to destroy a capitalist society. Okay? But a lot of people don't know that. And this means that the Insurrection Act should be put through 
by our president because this is not a domestic terrorist group. This group has been active for 20 years in America, in London, and in, and in Brazil. But they have been active all over the world since 1933 to 1938 out of Nazi Germany. Okay, so nobody knows that. They don't realize that what we're dealing with is a very old, nasty, communist mess. And well, I'm so excited about your article, Antifa, the Network of Violent Criminal Revolutionaries. And I'm just going to show our audience, it is one, two, three, three, four pages of yeah. facts and uh, and uh, one of those facts is that you you're not you're saying you know check it out for yourself it's going down.org is one of those places where you can check it out for yourself and they say if you have any intention of working with the police the FBI or other agencies or if you publicly condemn yeah. anti fascists who break the law don't call yourself an anti fascist Wow. That's absolutely right. <laughs> I, you know, I've never seen that from their own mouths, but I, I, I'm going to say that because people, you know, they're confused about who these guys are. That comes from Antifa's leader, Joseph Alkoff, who calls himself by several AKAs. He calls himself Jose Martin, and he calls himself Chepe, and Chepe is a radical communist and Antifa leader operating in the USA. I'll tell you, our Tennessee Star newspaper did an expose on this guy in December of 2018. If you go to my article, you can read the whole thing. It is massive. And this boy like so many others, has infiltrated the democratic society. Mm -hmm. He's friends with Dianne Feinstein, Tammy Baldwin, Don Bayer, and he's pictured in my article alongside Democratic Senators Sherrod Brown and California Democratic Representative Maxine Waters. Don't you just love it? <laughs> it's 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 they're they're revealing themselves, aren't they, Kelly? They are. You, you know, they are. I, I, the you say in conclusion, and you know we've we've been talking about Antifa, but you're also saying don't not so fast. Black Lives Matter is also backed by these kinds of groups, right? Absolutely, Black Lives Matter was started ten years ago by three women. Those three women are all hardcore communists. Mm. And Black Lives Matter doesn't matter for all the black babies who are murdered at Planned Parenthood, does it? Mm -mm. And it certainly hasn't mattered in all of these activities that have gone on in this country all over our country, and especially in large cities, it hasn't mattered because they've killed black businesses and black people in doing everything they're doing, including a former police chief in St. Louis. They murdered him for trying to uh, watch over one of his friend's stores when this was going on. Yes. This is... I, I can't believe that this is happening. It's really, uh, you know, John Adams had a wonderful statement back in 1787, the year of the Constitution, and he said, the moment the idea is admitted into society that property is not as sacred as the laws of God and that there is not a force of law and public justice to protect it, anarchy and tyranny commence. That's that's 1787. Look where we are today. We're Look right where we are today. It. You know, one of the most poignant things I've I've seen was a a lady whose business was attacked, and she was in the street crying. You tell me, Black Lives Matter. I'm black, 
but my life doesn't matter to you. You've just destroyed and stolen from me. How can you say Black it. Lives Matter when you have hurt me? And it, it was just so poignant, and it's exactly what you're saying. Uh, another poignant time during this whole protesting was when the president walked across the street from the White House uh, yes. to St. John's Church yes. and held up his Bible. Well, that turns out was a staging area for Black Lives, Lives Matter. And on the wall, you write... The graffiti on the wall behind St. John said, Kill cops, a tenant yep. of Black Lives Matter. They praised that Fidel is exactly Castro, right. spitting in the exactly. face of Cubans who lost their lives, their families, their homes because of this murderous di- dictator. What, you know, how, how is this going without notice? I, that's why I mentioned that this is four pages long. What you put down here, I have not seen once. Not on, even on Fox News. I've not seen this. Why? Uh, I I don't know why. Other than they they're all interested in um, protecting their their um, promotion of they love black people and black people are are no until Obama came here and spent eight years. We had a pretty, uh, pretty even uh, 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 organization with the blacks, and and blacks were rising up. I mean, look at how they rose up with Trump with his first three and a half years. They were making amazing strides. Obama didn't do that. Obama wasn't there to help them. No, Obama actually caused more problems with his let's have a beer business with the <laughs> the cop that tried to check the fellow that was uh, uh, breaking into a house that he thought that it happened to be the owner. Well, the cops have a right to check people. Now, look, we're looking at cops being defunded and destroyed, and Minneapolis is going to do that. And when one woman was asked, she asked, okay, so this was a, a reporter, she asked, okay, so what, if, what happens if somebody's breaking into my house in the middle of the night? Who do I call if there's no cops? And this woman answered, she said, well, you're white privileged. <laughs> you shouldn't have to call. Excuse me? Excuse me? This is insane where we're going. And I'm telling you, there's a whole lot of stuff going on, especially with this Mayor Bowser in D.C. who has painted the street with 35-foot uh, 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 Black Lives Matter. So she is endorsing a terrorist organization, and this is on the street, the 16th Street, that goes straight to the White House. And she's also endorsing the fact that she doesn't want any of the National Guard in her city. And that's the same thing that Mark Esper said. And I'm telling you what, these these military men that went against Trump, they are the same people who were brought in by Obama. <laughs> and you know what? This is another reason they had to get rid of Mark, Mike Flynn. They had to get rid of him because Mike knew the truth about all of them. I'm going off in La La Land here. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to rein you in for a moment. We've been talking with our guest, uh, Kelly uh, Nelson, who is uh, a researcher. She's also the secretary of Rocky Top Freedom Campaign, and she's written a wonderful article, Antifa, the Network of Violent Criminal oh, Revolutionaries. Horrible. We are coming to you from the Conservative Commandos Radio Network studios and around the world on the Internet with TalkStream Live, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, NetTalk America, and AMFM 
And of course, you can always watch us on the AUN TV network in Northern California. I'm Sharon Angle here with my co-host, Rick Trader. We've been talking with Kelly Nelson, and we'll be right back after these messages to continue that conversation. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The secret war is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. And welcome back. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with Sharon Angle and yours truly, Rick Trader. I want to give a shout out to folks who listen to us on radio stations in Jacksonville, Tampa, and the Villages, Florida, Las Vegas and Reno, Macon, Georgia, Lancaster and Pittsburgh, Boulder and Colorado Springs, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Long Beach, California, Arlington, Virginia, Washington, D.C. Also seen on the AUN Television Network in places like San Francisco, Sacramento, San Jose, Silicon Valley, Wine Country, and Reading. Very soon in Carson City and in, and in Reno. Our guest this segment is Kelly Nelson. She has written a terrific article, Antifa, the Network of Criminal Revolutionaries. Kelly, thank you for holding through that break. And You know, Kelly, you call them a network of international criminal revolutionaries. President Trump just described them as a domestic terrorist group. What doesn't the president see? Well, look, um, here's the situation with George Floyd. He wasn't a perfect person. He spent five years in prison. He did porn videos. I mean, he has a 
bad background. He's mm-hmm. not... Uh, even Candace Owens came out and said, I don't want this this boy made a martyr because he was not an upstanding black American citizen. Okay, mm-hmm. that's fine. But what they did in... Minneapolis was sanctioned by the police department of Minneapolis. So here you've got a mess going on that they could do this. And two of those men happened to be only three days on the job. So Mm. do you think that they were going to stand there and say, wait a minute, what are you doing? Something isn't right here. Uh, don't be doing that. The guy is screaming for he needs breath. Right. No, they're not going to do that. And this goes back to the Nuremberg trials. You well, Kelly, say I, wanted to bring you, I, I wanted to bring you to Antifa. You know, you're mm-hmm. saying that, it's, uh, that ha- it has international roots. President Trump is calling them a domestic terrorist group. No, they're not uh, domestic. I already stated that. They are not domestic. They have been worldwide since the 30s in Nazi Germany. Mm -hmm. They've never been domestic. They have been here for 20 years making all of this nightmare for America. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you you remember this. It was Ferguson. It was Trey. Trey, what's his name? Trey Yvonne. I can't remember his name. Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin. Mm -hmm. Right. And, And even before that, it's been other ones. This is a nightmare of communist control. And what they want to do is destroy capitalism. And people don't quite understand that. Steve Bannon actually put out a show on June 1st that was wonderful on his Pandemic War Room organization. And it it is on uh, Newsmax.com. Okay, if you can get that on cable. But he said, look, they are destroying the Lincoln Memorial, the World War II Memorial, and they've defaced all of these so-called peaceful protesters. Look what else they defaced. They defaced uh, a monument to the Union black soldiers who fought in the Civil War. They say, this has nothing to do with your race. This has to do with communism and destroying a capitalist society. That's what people need to understand. Kelly, you mentioned a couple other groups in your article that I want you to tell our listeners and viewers about. One is Smash Racism DC. The other is It's Going Down dot org. What can you tell us about these groups? Okay, both of these are two of the twenty subgroups of Antifa. And these subgroups, every single one of them, just like Black Lives Matter, every single one of them are communist organizations that have operated all over the world. People don't understand that the whole core of this, these people get together, they come from all over the world, they come from all over the states. You've seen where in, look, did you see Coeur d'Alene? Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, where all the guys came out to to, uh, cover... Yes, they came out with their firearms, uh, and they, they, this is what will stop them, force. Yeah, Kelly, uh, And not, not Mark Esper, who's taking the helmets off the National Guard and the guns away from them. Right. No, we need force, and we need it all over the country. He needs... President Trump needs to call for the Insurrection Act and to have National Guard, just like in 1957, President Eisenhower did the same exact thing in Little Rock, Arkansas. Oh, it was also done in 1992 during Rodney King. Oh, 
yes. Rodney King Ryan. Hey, uh, Tully, oh, yes. before I let you go, I wanted to get you to comment on uh, one other thing. I was listening to another program, and they were talking about how Black Lives Matter has been taken is as, as also an offshoot of the Black Panther Party. You know about any connection to that? Yes, actually it is. Now, let me tell you a real quick story. There was an, uh, a gentleman named Elmer, oh, and I can't remember the whole name. It was a book written by Jack Olson back about 15 years ago, and the gentleman who wanted no violence to head, he was a, he was a college graduate, he was a, 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 a veteran, and he said, we want no violence. No violence from Black Panthers. And you know what? The FBI set him up for a murder he never committed. He spent 26 years in prison, Mm. and he sued his lawyers, found out the whole case, and sued the FBI, and it's the first time the FBI had to pay money. This was before Ruby Ridge. Okay, the first time they had to pay money because the FBI set up a black man who didn't want violence, wanted peace to get hey, Kelly, across what they Kelly, needed. Kelly, I'm sorry to do this to you, but we're coming up against a hard break. Kelly Nelson. Okay. The article is Antifa, the network of criminal revolutionaries. Te- uh, Kelly, please tell our audience where they could read this article and follow your work. Sure. You can go to newswithviews.com. And if you go scroll down to Nelson, it's in alphabetical order, you can find all of my articles for the past 12 years. Wow. Okay. Kelly Nelson, we want to thank you so much for joining us. Great article. Take care and God bless. You too, hon. And you are listening to and watching the Conservative Commandos radio show with Sharon Angle and yours truly, Rick Trader. Don't go away. Sharon and I will be back with more right after this break. Mom, thank God you're going to be okay. I'm so relieved. But you both should know when my time comes, I have a final expense policy with Senior Care USA. Is Senior Care USA the life insurance policy that helps loved ones pay for funeral expenses and other debts? Bill and I called to get more information. Yes, and there's an immediate payout of up to $50,000. If you're over 50, call Senior Care USA now to learn more about final expense insurance plans. There's no medical exam, even if you have a pre-existing condition like I do. When I called, the quote was free, and there was no pressure. I found out that policies start for as little as 35 cents a day. Rates will never increase and coverage won't decrease. I'm going to call today. Ask about the free prescription discount card. I'm so glad you'll be taken care of. Call 1-800-822-7419. That's 1-800-822-7419. But is it? It's really just the beginning, right? Have you written a book and want it published but don't know where to start? You're not alone. Page Publishing cuts through the confusion that most new authors face, like copyright protection, barcodes, printing, and digital uploading. We will get your book into bookstores now. We guide you through the publishing maze and help you distribute and sell your work in hard copy and ebook formats. That's right. We will digitize and place your book for sale on Amazon, Apple iBooks, and Google, offering it to millions. Don't waste another minute. Most publishers won't even look at new author submissions, but we're different. We review your book and provide you feedback in about a week. If we decide to publish your book, your work ends and ours begins. From copy editing and proofing to typesetting and book cover art, our team gets you into bookstores fast. Call 1-877-461-5033. Does your current bathroom need to be updated immediately? Introducing One Day Bath and Shower Remodeling. 
the complete and hassle-free way to get the new bathroom of your dreams in as little as one day. And for as little as $1.99 a month. Yes, the experts at One Day Bath and Shower Remodeling will come to you anywhere in the country and show you all the customized options. Now you can have a brand new bathroom in as little as one day. Large or small bathrooms, if you want a new bathtub or shower installed, we can do it in as little as one day. And if you call right now, you can save $750 off your remodel. We make it easy by offering you financing as low as $199 per month. So for as little as $199 a month, you can finally have the bathroom of your dreams. Call now to schedule your free in-home consultation. Well, Sharon, that just about wraps it up for today's show. I want to thank you for sitting in as my co-host. And Sharon, please tell our audience where they can keep up with you when you're not here or with George or Melissa or Nasser or myself on Conservative Commandos. Well, it's very simple. Just go to SharonAngle.com, SharonAngle.com. And I'd like to thank our guests. We had some great guests today. Our first guest, Jennifer Brukowski, talked to us really, as a defense attorney, and said, not so fast, not so fast on this George Floyd thing. You have to be very careful if you really want convictions. Don't rush mm. to judgment. And our second guest, longtime friend of the show, Burgess Owens, uh, a football star, but now he's uh, going to be a star in Congress. We're really excited about his candidacy and when it ask people to join us in supporting Burgess Owens for Congress. Get off your wallets. Utah. Open your wallets. <laughs> this is a good man, a true conservative. This is a very winnable seat. It, 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 it's, it's in Democrat hands now. And it's in Democrat hands because of, of Mia Love. She turned out to be a disaster. She really did. Could tell yes, the sadly. first vote she made first vote she made when she got to Washington was to vote for John Boehner as speaker, okay? <laughs> and uh, it went downhill from there, didn't went it? went <laughs> downhill from there. It really did. But this is the seat we need back, and Burgess Owens is the man to bring it back. Well, and, and we want to thank our third guest, Kelly Nelson. She has kind of followed up on, on some guests that we've had just in the recent past. Uh, uh, unveiling unveiling Black Lives Matter and Antifa as communist groups and why we should not be putting up with their stuff and and why there should be uh, a more light shine on, on who they really are. Absolutely. But for right now, we're out of time. We got to run and we got to go. Take care. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow on TV and on radio. Attention homeowners, do you have a house that's in need of serious repairs? Do you have tenants that never seem to make their monthly payments? How about code violations, past due taxes, or maintenance costs you just can't afford? Then call my friends right now with Quick Cash Offer. They specialize in buying any home, no matter how ugly the situation. Turn that problem property into cash right now. It's just that simple. One call and you can get rid of that home headache forever. They buy the ugliest houses with instant closings, instant cash, and huge savings. Plus, there are no realtor fees, no listing fees, and no repair costs. Just cash in your hands for that painful property. They're buying a few more houses in your neighborhood this month. So take advantage of this cash offer and call Quick Cash Offer now. 855-296-8854. 855-296-8854. That's 855-296-8854. Listen carefully. If your student loan debt is overwhelming you and things seem hopeless, we've got great news. If you're still struggling with your student loan debt, there are government programs available that may actually lower your payments by consolidating your federal student loans. Just call us. We'll review your situation and work with you to consolidate your debt. In many cases, depending on your situation, we can lower your monthly payments in half. 
or more. It doesn't matter how much you owe or how far behind you are. Even if you're in default, call us right now to find out how we can lower your payment in half immediately. You can stop the harassing phone calls and the wage garnishments. All you need to do is pick up the phone and call us right now. We can remove your default status, consolidate your federal student loans, lower your payments, and we can do it today. Stop worrying. This is a real solution that can help. So please call us right now. Call 800-917-8671. Are you over the age of 50? One peace of mind and financial security for your family? Here's an important message to you and all seniors from the Final Expense Insurance Hotline. The average funeral costs about $7,000, even more. And the most government benefits will pay your family is only $255. That leaves your loved ones with a burden of paying your debts and funeral costs. Our plans start as low as a dollar per day and will pay up to $30,000 for your funeral and other final expenses. There's no medical exam and you'll have lifetime coverage. Plus, your rates will never increase and your plan cannot be canceled regardless of your medical condition as long as you make your premium payments. Get free information right now. Just answer a few simple questions and get approved right over the phone in just a few minutes. Call right now. Call. 855-221-7334 Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? How do you get in front of companies or get a patent? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors just like you for 35 years. And thousands of people contact them every month. With 65 offices, you can meet with an InventHelp representative near you who will keep your idea confidential and explain their invention process step by step. InventHelp has helped over 10,000 inventors get patents. And they offer 3D animations and prototyping services to help demonstrate your idea. InventHelp's exclusive data bank includes over 9,000 companies who have agreed to confidentially review new ideas like yours. Don't wonder what to do next. Take action right now and get the help you need from InventHelp. InventHelp. Call today for free information. 800-880-2937. That's 800-880-2937 now.